I'm Reverend Ryu, and I've basically started a little bit of a painting channel on Twitch. On top of that though, every now and then I'm going to do little tip videos, and this is today's one. So a lot of people ask me how I get really crisp whites, my miniatures. And what I'll point out is this, for the bulk part, I don't use white. I use old form grey four coats of it to be precise and then I add a white accent and to show you what that looks like I have an example prepared so this is after one coat of Volform Grey as you can see it's quite chalky quite grey next up two coats if we can get that into focus there okay well focus there we go oh, wait there we go right there we go two coats okay a bit clearer and then we have three coats and finally four coats and you can see that that is for all intents and purposes essentially white it's very difficult to show you on this camera, unfortunately, well, with this kind of lighting, just how this works. But what I'll do instead is I'll show you quickly how I do my white scar. So first up, always shake your paints. Make sure that they're good mixed. Get a small amount off to one side, whatever palette you're using. And then water that right down. Okay to about this kind of consistency. You see this right here? Quite thin. Twist your brush. We'll take the one which has four coats here. I'm just going to add white along this upper area here. Uh, across the top of the little knee armor here. Top of this knee armor here. Don't forget to clean your brush between loads and reload your brush often. A little bit of white across the top here. Now, if you find that you've got a hard divide, you can always clean your brush off. Just get a little bit of water. Just blend that in there. Nice and simple. Just a little bit more white now. We'll go up to the crest on the top of the helmet. So just a bit of the front there. Along the sides. Step that in a little better. So it actually covers the apex of the helmet, which is one kind of big flat area there, so it fades down into the grey at the back. And finally, for the shoulder pad, well not for the shoulder pads, for the backpack vents here, what I'd recommend is just going around the edges very carefully, stepping in if you need to, and then just wiping off the top with your finger or if you prefer a little bit of tissue come along here shade just underneath obviously I'm going to come along and tidy this up afterwards this is just to show you I can just put a little bit of white on the back there and then for shading the white I always use Bit of dragon off, get rid of the excess carefully. If I come onto this one here, paint a line and you can always come along and tidy up. And that is my number one tip never be afraid to make a mistake. You can always 
is corrected afterwards. Let's track it down. Okay, so we can see how there's now kind of a darker blue line to that one on the side there. And we can do the same for the knee pads as well. Just grab a little bit of drag and half. And just put it into that crease there. That's my tips for painting white. Hope you've appreciated that. See you all again soon.